Trauma in its widest sense is a disease caused by physical injury to the body and it's uh, recognised as a disease by the World Health Organisation because of its profound impact on the public health around the world and because as an entity it has its own pathophysiology, its own causes, its own mechanisms and its own treatment. Surviving is a challenge for trauma patients from the minute that they get injured, whether they're hit by a car or fall out of a window or get uh, injured by a knife. They're taken really to the limits of survival and modern medicine can keep them alive most of the time and fix them up, but their body, their cells have all been taken right to the, the limit and if they are to survive, those cells and organs need to be supported through it. If they survive, their challenges then are in actually recovering, being rebuilt in normal form or as form as close to function as possible and then their challenge is getting on with their lives and getting back to uh, some semblance of a normal life. Around the world um, about six million people a year die due to injury and it's on the rise um, dramatically. It's the only disease whose mortality continues to rise. Every other disease around the world has been uh, you know, appropriately um, targeted and managed but injury as people get more active, as people get older, um, as children have less protection in certain areas, uh, injuries are just on the rise. Um, and more than malaria, AIDS uh, and some other infectious diseases all put together doesn't touch the sides when it comes to how many people are going to die due to injury. I went into um, trauma because when I was a junior doctor I saw a number of patients that I thought could either have been treated better or really it was obvious that we really didn't know how to treat them and we didn't know what we were doing um, for them. I remember somebody who was injured in a bomb blast in Camden um, who um, you know, the team looking after him were really just so shocked and uh, unsure of how to look after him that uh, they were just almost uh, frozen in, in action. And I was very junior and I myself didn't understand but I could tell that something was wrong and that essentially this was a population of people who were being um, potentially neglected um, by modern medicine. So we've had huge changes over the past um, decade, both in terms of how we manage patients, our understanding of the disease and therefore how we treat it, but also in terms of how we organise healthcare in order to make sure that patients who are injured get to the right hospital, the right specialists, the right resources uh, at the right time. Uh, and so alongside those changes has come a dramatic improvement in survival. Research remains important though because still if you're severely injured um, there's about a one in three chance that you're going to die and for everyone who dies there's up to four people who are left severely disabled and severely dependent on their families or the state um, and with a relatively poor quality of life. And a lot of those deaths could be pre prevented and a lot of that disability could be ameliorated and a lot of people who are left uh, languishing essentially could be supported back into full-time work or education. And so there's still a lot of opportunity to do better for patients around the world in terms of uh, the disease of trauma. The Centre for Trauma Sciences is a unique entity uh, around the world where a group of researchers have come together to really focus their attention on trauma and injury and to really understand the mechanisms by which uh, the disease exerts its effects on the body and then to try and bring new treatments, new therapies online and to understand how the injury and those treatments affects the outcome for patients. Just like with any disease it is much better to prevent it than to cure it and so we are as much concerned with trying to prevent injury from happening as we are from curing it. And that's a whole range of things from avoiding cyclists being injured on the streets of London to reducing um, knife violence uh, in this country to improving pedestrian child fatalities in the third world. So we, are, we have a broad approach and are working with a number of partners to try and reduce the overall prevalence of the disease as well as how to cure it.